Hello friends, this is Russian Torts here and today is part two of my series Tortoise Health. In this video I will be focusing about external parasites, mainly mites and ticks. So just keeping the intro nice and short, let's get started. So what are external parasites? While there are different ways to say it, the easiest definition is that they are parasites which live on the surface of their host. The most common example of external parasites, which most reptile keepers have to deal with, are ticks and mites. In tortoises and turtles, external parasites usually manifest themselves between the folds of the skin, in the nostrils, or around the eyes of the animal. They feed on the blood of the animal and can be dangerous because they often transfer disease through their bite. If not dealt with, external parasites can kill your tortoise or turtle through their disease they transfer or if the animal is severely infested by these parasites, they can kill your pet through blood loss. So, they sound like pretty terrible creatures you would want your pet to stay as far away from as possible. However, these parasites occur very frequently in the wild. Therefore, it is normal for wild-caught tortoises, and sadly a lot of tortoises are still wild-caught, to be covered in external parasites. It is also impossible to keep ticks and mites away from your tortoise if you keep it outside during the summer. Since outdoor enclosures are great for your tortoise's health, you pretty much have to expose them to external parasites. However, if you start to see mites around your inside enclosure and you never took your tortoise outside over the summer before, you need to worry about your husbandry. This is because mites are attracted by dirty enclosures with rotting food and feces. So you obviously want to prevent this really easy to do, just always keep your enclosure clean, clean it daily, remove the poop, remove the leftover food, and you shouldn't have any problems. So external parasites are bad for your pet, but they are also very common and a necessary evil of outdoor tortoise keeping. So what can you do to make sure that your tortoise does not suffer under these evil little creatures? The first step, as always, is prevention. Dealing with a problem before it actually becomes a problem is the simplest solution. Check your tortoise for parasites regularly. Ticks range from having a diameter of just one millimeter to almost one centimeter, so they can be extremely difficult or very easy to find. They like to locate themselves in the folds of the skin of the tortoise. So when you look at your tortoise, just pull back the legs to make sure there's no ticks. Um, if you find any ticks, use a tick removal tool, which is commonly sold for dogs and cats at a pet store to remove the tick. This way you reduce the risk of only ripping off the body of the tick and leaving the head attached, which can cause infection. Mites are a little bit harder to find. They are smaller than ticks and come in different colors. They're red, white, black, for example. While they feed on the blood of the host, they also like to hide around the eyes of the tortoise, between the scutes, and under the scales. So they are therefore not as easy to remove as ticks because they're not as easy to find. People have reported success in removing mites by giving their tortoise frequent baths, even though this results in the mites just fleeing to the tortoise's head. This is because the tortoise's head is usually only the, le the only leftover dry spot because the tortoise and the mites both don't want to drown. Others have used olive oil to suffocate the mites on the body of the tortoise. While both these strategies might kill the, mite, <laughs> might kill the mites on the body of the tortoise, you still have to deal with the mites and eggs in the enclosure. This is because mites do not lay their eggs on the host, but rather in the substrate of your cage. Therefore, you have to do a thorough cleaning of your cage. To kill the baby mites that will hatch out of any eggs you missed in your cleaning of your cage, you can also spray the cage with Preventamite, which you should not get on your tortoise at all, or a mixture of Nix and water. I will post an article in the description focusing on using Nix to treat against mites and you can decide for yourself if this is a route you want to go. I've never had to deal with mites on my tortoise Potilla. However, I have used Nyx to get rid of mites on a snake at the pet store I work at. So for me, Nyx has worked, but I'm not a qualified reptile vet or anything like that. And it's not been tested on reptiles enough. So obviously you need to know for yourself if you want to use this product. In the end, what you should always do is take your tortoise to a qualified reptile vet. They can prescribe your tortoise an antiparasitic drug that will not harm your tortoise and kill any parasites on the body of the animal. 
you still need to do a cleaning of the cage to kill any leftover mites, but at least this antiparasitic drug removes any parasites on the body of your pet. However, if your vet prescribes Ivermectin, though, you should turn around and run away. Um, this medicine has been known to cause death in turtles and tortoises, but it's used very frequently in other reptiles. So your vet might not know about this, so it's something you should know about. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And so far I'm really enjoying this series. It takes a lot of time to make, but I think it's worth it. I hope you guys feel the same. Any like is always appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.